Hello again and welcome along to the latest update from the Met Office. Tuesday may be the pick of the week as far as the weather's concerned. Not saying much because it is going to be a changeable week, but plenty of sunny spells around. Just a few showers, some sharp downpours actually across parts of Scotland, particularly central and eastern Scotland and along eastern England. And whilst we started the day with showers further west, those showers by the afternoon ease away. And increasingly we'll see the sun come through for western Scotland, western England, as well as Wales. Temperatures not far from average, high teens, low 20s, a cool breeze. A cloud thickening there for southwest England later on Tuesday and you can see the next weather system starting to move in. And by the end of the evening across Cornwall into Devon and then parts of West Wales, Northern Ireland seeing a few drips and drabs of rain by the end of the night as well. Cloudy skies in the west will mean that temperatures will hold up, double figures largely, but elsewhere further north and east we're into the single figures in the countryside and as low as two Celsius for some sheltered highland glens. So a chill in the air for some first thing Wednesday, a dampness in the air for others as this system moves in across Wales, the southwest of England and then across the rest of England, southern Scotland and Northern Ireland during Wednesday. So a wet and windy start to the day for South Wales, southwest England, that rain and wind moving its way northwards and eastwards through the morning, turning wet across central and southeastern England by lunchtime. Elsewhere, further north, Scotland and Northern Ireland, Northern England, a lot of cloud cover. After that chilly start, it's not going to feel particularly warm across parts of Scotland, but mostly it will be dry. There will be some outbreaks of rain for central Scotland, one or two showers for Northern Ireland and Northern England, but the wet and windy weather really across much of central and southern England as well as Wales. Temperatures, again, suppressed under that rainfall tending to be high, t high teens, but where we get some breaks in the cloud, East Wales, for example, into the Midlands, those temperatures reaching the low 20s, and where we do get some breaks with an extra humid humidity element in the atmosphere, we could spark off some heavy thundery downpours for parts of the Midlands into East Anglia. Yellow warning of force could cause issues through the latter part of Wednesday afternoon into the evening, so watch out for those. Meanwhile, rain spreads into western and then central and eastern Scotland overnight. And for Northern Ireland, we'll see some blustery showers push back in by the start of Thursday. For many places, it's a cloudy night, not quite as chilly in, the, in many places as uh, Tuesday night. But it's going to be an unsettled few days. You can see that low pressure moving away. The next low pressure turning up for the end of the week in between just about enough of a gap to squeeze in a ridge of high pressure. But all that means is the showers will slowly die away through Thursday. We'll start off with showers in the west, and then on Thursday we'll see showers in eastern Scotland, eastern England as well, whilst further west the weather calms down, dries up, and brightens up through the day. So Thursday's not looking bad. There will be some sunny spells around, increasingly so through the afternoon. Once again, temperatures not far from average. We're looking at high teens, low 20s at best. More unsettled weather arrives for Friday and the weekend. And of course, you can follow all the very latest by following us on social media. Bye-bye.